Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On July 16, 1890, Stephen N. Haskell, who was then in Hong Kong, wrote an article for the Adventist Review about a recent visit to Japan. Haskell reported, We baptized one man in Japan. There are others there who are interested, and we learned that the Sabbath question has been discussed among the Japanese, and that there are some of them keeping the Sabbath. As early as the spring of 1889, not long after reaching Hong Kong, Abram LaRue, the pioneer self-supporting missionary to the China coast, had made a number of trips to Japan and distributed Seventh-day Adventist publications in Yokohama and Kobe. Not until 1896, however, were the first Seventh-day Adventist missionaries sent to Japan, William C. Granger and Terohiko Okahira. You can read biographies of Haskell, Granger, and Okahira in the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists at encyclopedia.adventist.org. On July 18, 1868, John and Maggie Loughborough and Daniel and Marion Bordeaux arrived in San Francisco, California. Sent there by the Seventh-day Adventist Church, they were called missionaries, even though they were sent within the United States because the church was based in the U.S. Midwest and on the East Coast. The first Sabbatarian Adventist in the U.S. West Coast was probably a man called Daniel Eaton, who lived in Wairika, California, an early gold rush boomtown, and who wrote to the Review and Herald in 1855 and 1857. Merritt G. Kellogg went overland to the state in 1859 and settled in San Francisco. Here he shared his faith and held Sabbath services. In 1865, Kellogg and the small group of believers he had formed raised $133 in gold and sent it to the General Conference with a request for a minister to be sent to them. But not until 1868 did that year's General Conference session decide to send the Loughboroughs and Bordeaux to the West Coast as missionaries. And you can read biographies of John Loughborough and Daniel Bordeaux at encyclopedia.adventist.org. On July 21, 1899, during the fourth session of that year's Australasian Union Conference session at Avondale, in a meeting of the Australasian Medical Missionary and Benevolent Association, it was voted that a medical and surgical sanitarium should be established in the vicinity of Sydney. While the resolution was being discussed, Ellen White addressed the meeting on the need for such an institution, where it should be located, and how funds should be raised. American missionary Ernest W. Farnsworth promptly stood up and proposed that funds be called for then and there, and within half an hour, 900 pounds had been pledged, then a considerable sum. Sydney Adventist Hospital today is a 599-bed hospital that treats more than 177,000 patients annually, and you can read more about it also at encyclopedia.adventist.org. And one day later, on July 22, 1899, at a general meeting in the town of Las Tunas, Argentina, it was decided, quote, to purchase 80,000 bricks and establish a school in the province of Entre Rios, Argentina, as quickly as possible. Early in December, the first building was erected, and in April 1900, classes began with 23 students. Today, Universidad Adventista del Plata, or River Plate Adventist University, has some 2,500 students, and you can read about the university too at encyclopedia.adventist.org. That was This Week in Seventh-day Adventist History.